Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Benz. I don't think it is very necessary to give details of my address of, or my personality, not even my ministry. But I feel that what is important is that this message should be heard. This message should reach its destination. It should reach its audience. So, I want to narrate to you my angelic visitation, my spiritual visitations, my encounters with the supernatural, and what the supernatural informed me about things that are going on. So, without much ado, I will go straight to the message. I will say only what God said to me. I reserve my personal revelation and analysis for other separate communications because this is just one part of a couple. The Lord has been speaking to me about the church in Nigeria since 2014 when I climbed high in prayer. I did not think it was God speaking. After all, I was neither a prophet nor a descendant of mighty believers. But later I found that all the things he had been warning me against occurred successively before my very eyes. So I repented from my unbelief and self-esteem. Then this March 23rd, 2022, he came to me in an indisputable form. During this final encounter, he presented to me a scroll on a screen. I read it several times and prayed that if it be him, let me not forget what I read. He granted my request. Then he added a caution, never embrace timidity. I immediately understood I am a Jonah on a mission. So you can see I am reading directly from this laptop because I don't want to give my opinion. This is the message. The scroll read, can a man dethrone God? But many are attempting to. Many have come and many will come in my name, claiming I have sent them to help me in judgment before the judgment. So long as wheat grows, there will be tears. The I am that I am need no human help. I asked Peter to feed my sheep if he loved me. The same should obtain to anyone who loves me. The single assignment I give my steward is to feed my sheep, not itchy ears. Let my word guide your choice and understanding. My prophets do not speak contrary to me. Anyone claiming to be my messenger and who does not speak in my word is a selfish merchant. From the days of the first church in Antioch until now, I hold the reins of the church in my hands. There will be a chastising fire, but that is reserved for the end. Can any man separate wheat from tares before the end? Can they not wait for the harvest season when every heart will be open before all men? Before I consume people by water and by fire, yet man is not wiser. Why are the so-called cleansing messengers of mine not warning my people about the same grounds on which I brought water and fire on the people of old. Is this their new focus, 
more important to me? Do they think so? I never poured out my wrath on people because of the priests, for anyone is accountable for their misdeeds. These impostors make it seem like those not being scalded are in my holy chronicles. Take persecution as a comforting sign and let those who are not persecuted wait. Have you not heard that there is seed time and harvest time? Do you want to harvest before sowing? Will a man give orders to another man's bride? Did I ordain and cannot chastise? Can a man be wiser than God? What is secret to man is plain to the I am. The attack on priests in the world today is a decoy. The battle is not against individual. Strike the shepherd and you scatter the sheep. I sent my son to refuge in Egypt, remember? That was a covenant for a special kingdom assignment because the world is safe in Africa. The attack on the church in Nigeria targets this mantle. But as I said, my word changes not. I have built my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Tell them to fight a good fight. And with my servants, I am always.